NASA's turn of events was unexpected. The James Webb Space Telescope produced a discovery involving astronomers the entire world in awe just a few weeks ago. The telescope identified the earliest galaxy in the universe, but now it has detected something even more massive, a supermassive black hole moving away from its galaxy at an incredible speed of 4 million miles per hour. According to this new discovery, it has very important implications and has produced a lot of speculation among scientists and space enthusiasts about what it means for our understanding of the cosmos. The James Webb Space Telescope was launched on a mission to explore the first stars and galaxies in the universe and has captured stunning images of the death of a few stars and galaxies 100 million years after the Big Bang. We invite you to explore the latest discoveries from this telescope with us. Remember to like and subscribe for more content like this one. The science community's current understanding of black holes is being challenged by this discovery. Black holes are generally considered to be massive entities that pull everything, including light, toward them, but the recently observed black hole appears to be working against this. It does not reflect light but rather creates new young stars along a long trail. This fresh trail of newly formed stars has been observed in the wake of the black hole, which stretches an incredible to 100,000 light years away. Scientists are puzzled by the unusual behavior of this black hole compared to others, but a group led by Professor Bionda of Geoastronomy recently reported their findings in the Astrophysical Journal. The Hubble Space Telescope of NASA additionally supported these observations, suggesting that the black hole awakens new stars when it comes into contact with gas and cools. We are witnessing the wake up in the shadow of the black hole. But that's not all. NASA has made an exciting announcement about the galactic merger ARP-220, which was captured by the James Webb Space Telescope. This impressive galaxy merger is visible, shining in addition to the other galaxies in the night sky. The result of merging to spiral galaxies, a phenomenon known as Arb Tutuo, shines brightest in the infrared, making it perfect for the James Webb Space Telescope's observation. It is classified as an ultraluminous infrared galaxy with a luminosity of a trillion suns compared to our own galaxy. The Milky Way, which has a much lower luminosity of about 10 billion suns. ARP-220 can be found in the constellation of Serpents, about 250 million light-years away. It is considered the brightest of the three closest galactic collisions to Earth and is listed as object number 120 in an atlas of about 700 strange galaxies. Two spiral galaxies existed a million years ago collided, resulting in a massive explosion of star formation. This created a dense region about 5,000 light years across that contains about 200 large star clusters. Pleasantly, this small area includes as much gas as the entire Milky Way. Previous radio observations from telescopes discovered about 100 supernova remnants in less than 500 light years. Far more than the Hubble Space Telescope revealed. The parental galaxies are located 1,200 light years apart, with their respective cores containing a star shaped ring that rotates, emitting dazzling infrared formation. The most recent perspectives from community, hoping for the best. The incredible James Webb Space Telescope confirmed that these ancient galaxies are real. Thanks to this revolutionary telescope, we now possess the ability to observe the oldest galaxies ever seen. Astronomers estimate that light from these galaxies has traveled more than 13.5 billion years to arrive on Earth, granting us a glimpse into the distant past of the universe. These galaxies were discovered when the universe was young, which sheds light on how quickly the first generations of galaxies emerged. The spectral data confirmed that these galaxies are at the edge of our view, some even farther away than Hubble could see. The discovery is crucial because it confirms one of the most significant tasks of the James Webb Space Telescope, which is to study the early universe through light that has been traveling for more than 13.5 billion years. The ability to measure extreme redshifts is what distinguishes James Webb from others, allowing astronomers to examine the infrared range and observe the first galaxies in the universe. 
The excitement is palpable as this discovery marks an important milestone in the exploration of the universe and in understanding its evolution. The discovery has had a major impact on our understanding of the universe and has prompted NASA to develop even more powerful telescopes than the James Webb Space Telescope to confirm whether our understanding of the Big Bang is correct. Data obtained from Webb's spectrometer and near-infrared camera have revealed that four of the six primordial galaxies have extreme redshifts, indicating that Webb is watching them as though they were 300 to 500 million years after the Big Bang. Heavy elements such as carbon are surprising since the universe is estimated to be 13.8 billion years old, and the existence of these galaxies suggests that we need to revise our understanding of the early universe. This has generated concern in the scientific community as these new discoveries challenge the current cosmological Big Bang theory and the inflationary model, which has some loopholes, such as going against the law of thermodynamics and a lack of clear understanding of what caused the Big Bang. In addition, the James Webb Space Telescope is discovering galaxies almost as old as the Big Bang itself, which raises questions about everything we believed we understood about the universe. As theoretical physicist Michio Kaku explained, the discovery of old galaxies found by the James Webb Space Telescope has called into question everything we were aware of concerning the beginning of the universe. Before these findings, it was thought that galaxies were less developed but newer than the Milky Way. The findings suggest that we may be missing crucial information. The fact that the telescope has identified six galaxies that came into existence half a billion years after the Big Bang and are up to ten times larger than the Milky Way raises questions about whether our current theories about the universe's creation are correct. Kaku explained that it takes a galaxy billions of years to develop, like the Milky Way, so it is strange to find such large, young, primordial galaxies. This discovery may require us to rewrite the text textbooks and revise our understanding about the beginning of the universe. Findings from the James Webb Space Telescope challenge what we thought we knew about the Big Bang, leaving scientists at a crossroads. Despite this, NASA recently tweeted about a galaxy cluster that lies just 650 million years after the Big Bang, adding another fascinating component to the puzzle. Astronomers have analyzed the data and concluded that this fledgling cluster is expected to grow in size and become something similar to the colossal coma cluster of 1656. This event that is taking place is one of a kind as it is in an area of accelerating evolution of the galaxy. As a result of the James Webb Space Telescope, researchers can now determine the speeds of these seven galaxies, giving them self-assurance to ensure that they are contained together in a protocluster. To put this in perspective, NASA scientists compared these far-off galaxies to tiny spakes of water from various rivers that will eventually join together to form a large, powerful river. Clearly, what we previously believed about the Big Bang is not adding up as expected. However, the Webb Telescope may provide additional data to provide evidence that might support or disprove the theory. Who knows? Maybe the Big Bang did occur, but what caused it is, in any case, a different story, and we will have to wait for more discoveries. But we may be wrong about the answer. What do you think about these discoveries? Share your thoughts in the comments section and I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.